Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is so exciting. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I got this, but I was sent the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie collection. What? Um, this is so exciting to me. I came home today from a long day on the road and this was sitting on my doorstep and I couldn't believe it and I just knew that I had to play with it right away. So I wanted to sit down and create some looks. I did share a post on my Instagram and I also asked on my Instagram stories, what do you guys want to see with this collection? And a lot of people said a neutral look and a colorful look, do two looks with the palette and that is what I decided to do. That is why I'm rocking these dual looks right here but I wanted to create a look with each side of the eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to be taking you through the two looks uh, and also I do use the lashes from the collection. But first before we jump into the looks, I just do want to go over everything, show you some close-ups, show you some swatches, tell you a little bit about the collection. So in the box, it did come with this, which Christie's promo photos for this is awesome the i the um like trailer that she posted absolutely incredible if you are not familiar with raw beauty christy you should be i mean you should be she just hit a million subscribers which is amazing everyone's 2020 is like the worst year ever and christy just recently announced her pregnancy she hit a million subscribers she bought a new house and she's renovating it it's gonna look so amazing now this collaboration with pure i'm like like 2020 is her year and I'm here for it. I'm so excited about it. I've been following her for such a long time and she honestly is one of my favorite YouTubers. I'm going to do my best not to cry right now because oh no, that would not be good. But Oh no. But it just feels really special to get this collection because Christy is a YouTuber who has helped me out in so many ways. Um, she she does not know me. I have received some PR from Pure in the past, so that's why I, where I'm thinking that this was coming from. But even though she doesn't know me, I honestly look to Christy as a mentor, not just as a YouTuber and we do the same things, but I have spoken about her in the past in my videos where I open up a little bit more because she is someone who has given me the courage to be able to do that. I think that she's such a good person in this space and especially to open up about such personal issues. I Just to say that it's helped me tremendously is just like the smallest thing that I can say. We'll also link Christy's video where she goes into a lot more depth about this collection. But wow, is it so cool. Just everything from the drawings on the collection, obviously the shade names, but just, just the amount of detail that was put into this. It, it just feels like nothing was really missed while creating this collection. And I just think that she did such an excellent job. So again, I will link her video if you want to watch more in depth of her explaining everything and why she chose her choices and just more about how she met Pure. I will say that when she went on a brand trip with Pure Cosmetics, which I believe was in 2018, to me that felt like a turning point for YouTube that I was like, oh my gosh, like brands are really going to start to notice other people than the top 1%, which no offense at all to the top 1% because they, you know, they deserve it and they work hard and they're there for a reason too. But there's so many amazing people that do this, that put their heart and soul into their channels and creating looks and reviewing makeup and making connections with other people that when it started to get recognized, I was like, wow, this is really awesome. She posted her vlog of that trip. I cried almost the whole time because I just was so happy for someone. I'm an empath. <laughs> and I, I was just absolutely thrilled. So when I saw that they were doing this collaboration, I was like, this makes so much sense. When she posted that she was doing a collab and I was thinking of all these different brands that she could you know, potentially be collabing with. When I saw the announcement that it was Pure, I just went like, I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy about that. I also think that Pure is a great brand. I've been using Pure Cosmetics since before I started on YouTube. I have gone through their pressed powder one by one by one by one and uh, their lashes are fantastic. 
I mean, they, they're, they're four in one selfie foundation. I know Chrissy is a big fan of that one too, but that's a good one. So just to see them do this collaboration together, it definitely gave me a lot of feels. But I do want to show you the eyeshadow palette. So this is a double-sided pressed pigment palette. So on one side, you have the more neutral side. You have nine shades. And then the other side is more colorful. Once again, you have nine shades with a mirror. But the drawings that she did on here that she drew are just incredible so beautiful i love the detail that was put into it that on the neutral side the sticker here is going to be more of a rose gold on the colorful side it is going to be a blue sticker that is the eyeshadow palette and that retails for 34 dollars. and then there are also two pairs of lashes in here if you guys don't know pure lashes have been some of my favorites for a long time diva and bombshell are my absolute favorite styles i have gone through so many pairs these lashes are 14 dollars once again Again, you have the same style of packaging on these and you still have more of these drawings that she did I did use both of the lashes today also but we have the style lovely and then uh, this one is can't be bothered and they're both pretty dramatic as you can probably see on my eyes uh, but these are 3d cruelty free luxe lashes it says up to 30 wears I mean honestly you can wear pure lashes over and over and over and over again um, I think that their lashes are great collection is also cruelty free talc free uh, vegan gluten-free and everything is recyclable which is fantastic so that is a little bit about the collection I know that the launch didn't go as anyone would have wanted it to I Christy actually broke the internet having so many people wanting to pick up this collaboration which I just think which I just think speaks volumes about her and how many people want to support her and see her succeed which is incredible but I know a lot of people were left pretty frustrated which is so sad and um, you know I felt really terrible for Christy I felt terrible for the peer team because I I just I know that that is not what they would have wanted um, but there is going to be a restock coming at the time that I'm sitting down to film this which is on Monday night I haven't seen that information come through yet but there is going to be a restock and hopefully that one goes a lot smoother that's a little bit about the collection and some swatches and some up close shots on everything but I really do want to show you how I got these two looks because it was really fun to create them so why don't we go ahead I'll do the two looks and then finish off with my thoughts on the collection hello okay let's get started don't mind the hair and we got a little bit of like a crusty makeup situation happening, but I've been in my car all day driving all over Iowa and I got home to this package and I just wanted to start to play with it right away. So we're just gonna do some eye looks and I'll try to look a little bit better. I also just did a lip scrub because my lips were looking crazy. So if you see anything on my lips, it was just a lip scrub. Let's start off with the neutral side first, which looks like so. And if you guys know me, the first shade that immediately sticks out to me is this one in Moo Point. Like, I just want that on my eyes so badly. I'm first going to pick this one up with a Sigma Firm Blender. This is the E44. And let's see, I'm gonna do this eye. And I do have my eyes primed and set, so we are ready to go. And I'm just gonna start to work this one on the outer part of my eye in the crease and kind of blend it upwards. I'm gonna build it up just a little bit more. I'm such a sucker for mobs, it's so hard for me to not go into these in palettes. Come into It Just Does. This more coral shade on the top using a Makeup Molly Dalton brush in Buff Blender. I'm just going to add a little bit of this to the outer part of my eye and just kind of mix these two more pink shades together. This one I'm focusing just a little bit lower than that first shadow, kind of running it along the lash line first. And I'm not going to take it as far towards the inner part of my eye as Moo Point. And I'm gonna grab a little bit more of Moo Point and run that back into the crease. And then just adding in a little bit more of It Just Does. And then I'm gonna grab out the shimmer in the middle of the palette with a Sigma Medium Sweeper E54. This one is in Golden Ticket. I am gonna use a dry brush first just to see how it pops on its own. On its own. I'm gonna add a little bit to the inner and center part of my eyelid. 
And I'm just going to build up a little bit more. I'm not getting a lot of fallout with this one, which I appreciate for sure. I think that went really smoothly just with a dry brush. I think if I used a wet brush, it would make it pop um, just a little bit more if that is what you would want with your shimmers and then i'm going to come back in with a little bit more of moo point i'm telling you i could just play with the shadow all day long and now that we have the shimmer there i'm just going to blend it back and forth to make sure there's no harsh lines in here and then just add a little bit more of it just does i just want to like dot that into the outer part um honestly i love really simple looks with like even just two eyeshadows I think can be great. So Moo Point and Golden Ticket I think would look really pretty together. I did just want to add in another shadow just, you know, for video's sake and all of that. But also this was definitely the second one that caught my eye. And I love browns. I wear brown eyeshadow all the time. Love me a good brown. But when you put like a pink and a coral like that in a palette, I'm like, Hello. I want to wet my brush with that golden ticket shade just so you can see what it would look like in case, like I said, I usually use a wet brush, like a damp brush, when applying my shimmers. It's just kind of like my preference, but I like to, when I'm using uh, a new palette, I like to use it dry first just to see. Um, but I'm just going to spray. I got a little bit on my brush and then I went ahead and sprayed it. And then I'm going to tap that on. Yeah, so if you can see, it just really makes it like boom like turns it more into a foiled shadow Ooh, that's really beautiful that's like that's like liquid gold yeah, that's pretty so again I don't think you have to do this it's just gonna be if you want to but if you want to make it pop even more like this <gasps> see I just took it to another level I really like that <laughs> all good noises remember when I asked if <laughs> hissing cats is a good thing or a bad thing your guys's comments on that was hilarious <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit of some of the pure on point liners these are some of my favorite liners I've recommended them so often uh, this shade that I'm going in with is in hotline and I'm just gonna add that to my waterline and then also tight line and for the lower lash line I'm just gonna mix the two mattes moo point and it just does I'm mixing them on that buff blender I'm just gonna run that on my lower lash line and with a pencil brush I'm gonna add some golden ticket to my inner corner and also my brow bone a little pop I am going to add some mascara and then we'll pop on one of the pairs of lashes I'm going to be using the lash style in lovely so I felt like out of these two these were like both the lashes are really dramatic um, and, but I thought these were like a little bit less than so I thought that's what I could do for my new my more neutral side But these are pretty dramatic also and we had a little issue with my lash glue I was using the duo lash glue and I even shook it up and then I went to Squeeze it on and it came out like and went all down the center of the lash I was like you've got to be kidding me. So I hope the lashes aren't ruined because of that Ugh, that's so frustrating but um so yeah i'm just gonna wave my lash around in the air like i just don't care for a few seconds before i pop these on i'm just gonna go ahead and add these i did trim them before i added my adhesive i'm gonna add a little bit of liner this is from ofra and i'm just gonna add this right over the top to kind of hide because the lash glue is white so i want to hide those areas so these are the lovely lashes these are definitely very dramatic and i feel like they look kind of wet like in the center because of the lash glue tripping down onto the lashes which was fantastic but they were pretty easy to pop on again i don't wear lashes on like a really regular type of basis but i could totally see uh, Christy loving these ones uh, for sure. So if I was having a little bit more of like dramatic looks, I would, you know, I could pop these on definitely. But then this is going to do it for look one using the more neutral side. I don't know how, I mean, to me, this is a pretty simple eye look. It was three shadows and I don't know if it's like necessarily super, super neutral with the pinks, but I love pink eyeshadow. So um, I had to go into those shades, but let's go ahead and use the other side of the palette and finish off this look. <laughs> for this side the purple is screaming at me so hard 
all I keep hearing is Samantha Purple, Samantha Purple, Samantha Purple. It's like a parrot is in my house. I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to go into Tribute first, and I'm just using a Sigma Blending E25 brush. I'm just going to tap, tap it off, tap it off real good. And then I'm just going to start to pat it down. So I'm going to do a little pat. I added a little bit more to my brush. And then also do a little blend. This one I'm kind of flicking the outer part a little, little, little bit here, a little bit here. Uh, I will say, like, I'm even, like, tapping off my brush quite a bit. But that is, that is pigmented. That's, that's, we got some purple happening on the eyes right now. Ooh, but it's so cool. <sighs> See, I'm kind of putting this one, like, a little bit of everywhere. I just wanted to, like, go in with this shade. So kind of blending it along the crease, but I'm not making that, like, any sort of too perfect right now. I'm just really trying to lay down the shadow. This one, too, I have no fallout on my face. I was kind of wondering if I was going to get, like, a lot of purple flecks happening, but I am not. I do a little bit of blending with that shade, but, and I don't, this could be, like, People could be screaming at me right now not to do this, but I was just gonna grab the white and a blending brush. Like, is this gonna be a really bad idea? I don't know. I'm telling you, I'm not a makeup artist. A lot of you are probably like, yeah, you just proved that to us. But I just want to like be able to blend it. What? That's yes. This is exact. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Things like this just don't work out for me. Okay very excited okay I just wanted to diffuse that crease just a little bit and I thought I was about to screw things up royally like literally like not even making a huge difference just like a, like a little little bit oh thank goodness Did you guys just hear my Alexa go off it said sleep it said sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite I'm trying to figure out if I'm like bold enough to put down another color but you know what I want to go into is I want to go into the pink but it's like am I bold enough yeah why not yeah 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 we're just gonna add a little bit of pink also to this look so I'm gonna go into side effect and I'm using a brush from SL Miss Glam Beauty this is the L34 it's telling me it came in an ipsy bag I'm just going to grab a little bit of the pink because it looks cool. Can you mix these together? I don't know. We're going to try. I'm just going to kind of tap that over top. And then run it through. This one is like definitely, I mean, I feel like they all are. Like more neon, but this pink was like, woo. But then I was wondering if I should go with the pink since I did pink on the other side. But to mix the pink and the purple, why not just see what we get out of that. So I'm just kind of casually tapping that one over uh, Tribute. And it's creating a cool shade. I would totally rock this. And I'm trying to go small and build up because it is so like, like, and I'm not the world's best blender. So I know a lot of people could probably do this a lot quicker than me, but I just, you know, I want to do it the way that I normally do makeup, otherwise I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just kind of like flicking the outer corner and then I'm going to start to bring the pink all the way through. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Feeling this. So again, just going to grab the white just to like ever so like soften up, like ever so softly soften up the edges here. Real careful. Real careful. Whew, gotta be careful. And then grabbing the Sigma E57 Firm Shader and Cafe Disco here in the center. I really, I thought about leaving it matte, but then I was like, you know what? I need a little bit of pop right here in the inner part. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna like that. I'm gonna like that. I am gonna spray my brush. I think especially with the colorful side, I am gonna wanna 
make sure we got some oh yeah just like that mm. yep 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 okay that's a cool shade oh now i just want to put that all over that is so cool <gasps> unicorn but like barbie vibe i like i i'm just i'm feeling away i might like this side even more than the other side and i was scared to do this side let me tell you i want some of this shimmer to like go up into the crease here oh yeah so on to doing liner because we're really getting crazy on this side okay so again i'm just gonna go in and use my over verified liner i'm not very good at doing wings on camera so um, just so you don't make fun of me like more than you've probably already been making fun of me in this video I'm gonna do it off camera and then we'll come back and add lashes <laughs> Add a little bit of mascara too and then had another incident with the lash glue I don't know if my lash glue is just so mad at me that I haven't used it in so long that it's fighting against me, but Lashes are wickedly dramatic. I can feel them like in my eyebrows but they went on <laughs> popped on really smoothly and once again just gonna go ahead and add some liquid liner to cover up the white adhesive after that i'm gonna add some purple liners to my waterline this is in rain from pure want to again just add some of the purple and pink together and add them to my lower lash line and i'm going for more drama with the lower lash line also on this side once again grabbing cafe disco with a smaller brush i'm gonna add that to the inner corner and brow bone on this side and just because the side is a little bit more oomph, i'm gonna really kind of build up that inner corner and i also really love this shade it's like ridiculous it's ridiculous how much I love it, but I feel like I've just went so hard to do this because these lashes are so huge. I love it. <laughs> right, so this is side number two, the more colorful side. What do you guys think of this one? I really like how this came out and it was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. I really like that I mixed the purple and pink because I think it just has like a fun like fade to it, but that shimmer is bomb. Like, I can't wait to use that again. That is so, so awesome. Uh, and yeah, the lash is incredibly dramatic. I would probably wear Lovely more than I would Can't Be Bothered. Um, but, you know, if I ever need that really just dramatic over-the-top look, I, you know, I could definitely go into these. But if you love more dramatic lashes, I think both the styles you would enjoy, but especially Can't Be Bothered because it's just like, there's no missing these, okay? There's none. All right, that is it for the two looks though. I'm gonna go ahead and do some face makeup and then talk about my thoughts. Now that the two looks are done, I just wanted to quickly go over my thoughts. Again, this is my first time using the palette, but I wanted to share some of my feedback for it. So first of all, I really, really like that it's double-sided because it's still small. It's still easy to throw into a travel bag and on-the-go makeup bag. Then you get so many different shades and such a good variety. I just I feel like this is going to be so versatile and so easy to just constantly grab it because it's like, well, I'm going to get a little bit of everything. I'm going to get a little bit of everything. So I really like that. Uh, I do like that you get the mirrors on both sides. I use the mirrors in my palettes all the time. So for me, I'm like, yes, that's awesome. For the actual shades, when I first went into the neutral side, um, you know, I only used three shades out of each side of the palette. So again, I'm definitely going to want to use this more to give a full review, but I thought the mattes blended out really well. When I swatched them, they swatched so, they were so soft, they were so creamy, it was just, it was smooth. They felt really, really nice <laughs> to my fingertips, but then I felt like they just applied so well on the eyes. The thing with the shimmers, I'd say, like, to get that full impact, I would say to have a damp brush, but that's, that's really my only thing their fallout like everything like that so good um, so I'm really impressed and then I was definitely nervous for the more colorful side because I just don't go I, I just don't work with shadows like this a lot and I was a little bit more intimidated by this side but I actually love it I want to do this eye look on like both eyes <laughs> 
you know it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be to work with it I noticed a little bit of the purple it seemed to like not stick to one part of my lid really well and I was trying to figure out what was going on but then when I came in with the pink it did so I'm not sure I don't I don't work with the pressed pigments often so I'm not really sure but in the end it it ended up working out really well for me because the pink one laid down just fine so but I did want to mention that just because it was something that I noticed but the shimmer on this side is freaking bomb like that's such a good shade again I would say to wet your brush but it's such a good shade I was like whoa that's my feedback after doing two looks with the raw beauty Christy pure palette and I have to say I'm really happy so far I'm really impressed I think everything went really smoothly and I'm excited to play with it more honestly both sides mixing the two sides together I think there are so many options in here I personally also like that there's more mattes because I like more mattes um, it was something I just posted a video doing three looks with the Pat McGrath divine rose palette and there's only two mattes in there and then there's 10 shades 10 shades total and I said it a few times like kind of wish there was more mattes so I know in Christie's video she said that she's more of a matte girl she does a lot of matte looks but then you know sometimes she just wants that shimmer to finish it off and I have very very similar makeup preferences to it so when I saw this I was like oh yeah give it to me give it to me I just do feel like there's going to be so many options in here and I think the quality is fantastic again packaging on this so impressed I mean first impressions are really really high for me and I'm so happy I'm so happy for Christy then for the lashes I will say that they're just not my particular style but if they are yours pure has fantastic lashes and I would recommend them love that she did lashes I think it makes so much sense for her. I think both of these styles make so much sense for her. And again, Pure just puts out quality lashes. You can reuse them so many times. The number of times I've used Bombshell and Diva is just like to the extreme. So if you do purchase them, know that you're you're gonna be able to get a lot of uses out of them. Everything for this video, those were my two looks and then my first thoughts using the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie collection. A huge thank you to them for sending this over to me. I was so excited. I never filmed this late. I'm super hungry. I and usually when I get done doing all the driving, I just want to like crawl into bed because I'm like, woo. But I was like, I have to play with this. And this is way too exciting for me. Let me know what you thought of my looks. Do you have one that you like more? Were you guys able to grab this palette or will you be waiting for the restock? I really hope that that one is coming soon. But a huge congratulations to Christy on this. I, I mean, she like, she literally broke the internet yesterday, which is absolutely incredible. I love I love to see it. <laughs> I love to see it. I don't know what else to say. I love to see it. So happy for her and I think that she absolutely killed it on this collection and I'm so excited to keep creating looks with it. So that is everything. Let me know what you thought of this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up of course if you did enjoy it. Leave me a comment. That's always so helpful and I appreciate it. I hope that you will consider subscribing before you go. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.